five, four, three, two, one. Dilililililing. Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, Game Hammer Live. I'm seeing by the uh, ridiculous, the uh, late <laughs> monitor that uh, actually you just see me preparing for the channel by uh, uh, scratching an itch on my nose and then waiting to see whether the thing was working. So hopefully you're doing okay. How is everyone in the chat? Let's have a quick. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, we're going to start as we mean to go on, apparently. How is everyone in the chat? Hello to Sir Patrick Furlong and says, If you're happy and you know it, don't play Dizzy Games. Why? Will they make you unhappy? What's going on? Hello to Krista Duke and James Petz as well. Hope you're both having a great night. So tonight, uh, as James has noticed, we are having a... Uh, Spectrum Knight. He says, I think I have a ZX Spectrum clone in my attic. Oh my goodness, that would be interesting. A clone. Wow. Normally you don't see many of them around these days because, uh, well, weren't they Eastern Europe mainly? That's, wow, that's interesting. Uh, Patrick Furlong says, you, he's got the flu. I'm sorry to hear that, Patrick. I hope you get well soon. Hopefully a bit of ZX Spectrum action will get you going. What have we got today? Well, we've been going... Th why am I going to that already? That's Mecky the Hedgehog, which should be interesting. And hello to Heon Puds as well. How are you doing? Can't remember much about it. It's in a funny suitcase. Excellent. Cool. Well, tonight we're having ZX Spectrum action from Crash, cover mount number two. This is from the relaunched Crash magazine, the one that's been uh, going on for quite a while now. But I'm <laughs> looking for, to try and find it. It is over there. See where the, uh, you can just about see it. The, the Nintendo game is, uh, there. Crash Magazine. Diddly ling. There we are. So, there. We're going to be playing some games from this. This is the second cover mount from the relaunched Crash. And, as usual with the ZX Spectrum, we've got no sound. There are no sounds to hear. So, hopefully, we can sort sound. Oh, we're still on widescreen. That's not good, is it? We need no, we do not need to be on widescreen. Aha, here we are. Da, 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 da. Hi, George Botterini. How are you doing? Patrick says, his composite lead is broken. I'm sorry to hear that, Patrick. Oh, my goodness. So here we go. Here we go. Mecky the Hedgehog. You don't buy the new Crash or Zap anymore. I'm sorry to hear that, Patrick. I know a few people are having to uh, duck out of things because of financial issues. I mean... The world is uh, a bit expensive at the moment. But let's see how we get on with this. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we want keyboard. Press 1. Go, Mecky. What's the keys? Uh, hang on. <laughs> I've got to quickly look these up. <laughs> Find what the keys are. Uh, Q up, A down, P right, O left, M fire. Okay, O, P, Q, A and M. Different to what I would normally... Right. Ah, we can spray things. Okay. I what? Oh, we've only got so many sprays. Oh, that's not good news. Game over. This looks interesting. You still buy free sixty four magazine, but you can't afford it. Yeah, I can't blame you for that. It's getting pricey out there. <coughs> I'm sticking with the uh, crash and antics because I I started, so I'll finish. All right. Mechie cannot fire a huge amount. So mainly I'm going to try and dodge the waves of things. Oh, oh, I just walked. This is a difficult, this is a difficult game, keyboard. Last game in Mega Bot was Retro Game, and I've picked up a copy of that for close to a decade now. I would love to get some of the older Retro Gamers where they had the cover mounts. Uh, they had uh, Arena and uh, Dagger Form, things like they're the only versions of those games that were ever out on CD. Oh! Oh! Crash the Spectrum. Oh, no! Oh. Absolutely crashed the Spectrum there. My goodness. Well, that was interesting. It was an interesting side scroll. Oh, it was actually quite difficult to play. Can I press stop on this thing? There we are. Stop. I'm going to have to play that again. Let's see if we can load it again. Rewind. And see if we can play it properly. Uh... Hello to Martin Vegas. How are you doing? 
You can't afford it. When you get those CPC games, you might sell most of them. Yeah, well, let's put it this way, Patrick. That if you've got them and you don't want them, you can always sell them. That is the advantage of retro. Especially considering the uh, way downloads work now. So you've got it. It's yours. You've got it and you can't do anything with it. <laughs> I will stick with retro, that's for certain. Right, let's see if we can load it again. Tape loader, just cleaned the Spectrum's tape player this uh, today, so hopefully that'll see how it goes. It certainly should be uh, easier to load tapes now. <laughs> Saves your friend from bidding them. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, and says, I love all those early game uh, issues with the cover disc. I think, I think I stopped not long after 100 issues. Wow. Let's see if we can load this. If we can't, then we'll move on to something else. But I was enjoying that until it crashed. I really, really have to sort out the sound issue on the Spectrum. Like with the Commodore 64, it's just not sound. There's no sound anymore. Both of them had sound when I got them, and now they don't. And I'm thinking, it's just like a capacitor. I doubt the chips have gone, because they were working. It's either a capacitor, or it's a dry solder joint, that kind of thing. Age-related stuff. Yeah, this isn't going to load, is it? Hmm. I suppose we'll have to deal with that. It's keeping his play filled with signed Doctor Who stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Patrick. That's amazing. Uh, Martin Vegas says, remember Edge magazine? That was a quality read. Isn't Edge still around? I thought Edge was still around. Doesn't Mr. Biffo write a column for Edge? I was sure they were still around. Yeah, this isn't going to load. I'll try it again. I just cleaned the, the heads on this uh, Spectrum today. It should be working. Don't know what's going on here. Oh, here's a question for you guys. Uh, that may, Maybe one of you Commodore experts will know. The AY chip could have gone. Don't think the caps would cause sound. Hope it hasn't. But uh, question for you Commodore owners. If the... Have I turned up the sound? There isn't a sound... There isn't a volume knob on a spectrum. It's just it's just there. <laughs> but yeah, the sound was up because I heard it go <clears throat> earlier on as it was loading. And then it just stopped completely. There was no sound at all then. But question, I'll get to it in a minute. With a Commodore 64, will the uh game load if the AY no, it's not, sorry, if the SID chip is not working? Because I have this weird feeling that the um, thingamajig goes through, that the, the tape goes through the SID chip. And I'm, I don't know where I've heard that or where I got it from, but I don't know. Would it still load if the SID chip was broken? Because I've got a load of Commodore games that I'd love to load, and I don't know whether it'll work. <coughs> Yeah, this just isn't loading today. I'll have to have a look at what's the issue. The games do load without the SID. That's lovely that you know. Thank you very much. I know it was probably a stupid question, but I don't know an awful lot about Commodores. Oh, well. Really nice tapes, by the way. Really nice tapes. That is printed onto the cassette. That's like uh, proper... Printed right onto the the plastic. It's amazing. It looks great. So you won't ever have the issue of a label peeling off one of your um, thingamajigs. The key things for loading games is the PIA chip. Right. Pretty sure that was working last time I checked. So I'll see how that goes. Uh, might be able to get some Commodore games loading at some point. There we go. I do like getting these. Having, having a, a cover mounted game on a for a retro magazine is amazing it's so good i'm really really pleased with uh, that so crash magazine yeah love it absolutely love it amtix as well although i am kind of biased because i write for it and also now write for fusion as well 
expect to see some stuff from me in Fusion magazine. I've done a review of uh, Return to Monkey Island, and I'm currently doing a uh, an article for Fusion about um, the level nine adventure games. So expect that soon too. So I'm I'm doing pretty good with that stuff. It's been fun. So. This hasn't uh, quite gone to plan, has it? We haven't got a game that loaded. Although we did... No, that's t t all right. We did play a bit of the Hedgehog one. It looked quite interesting. I do want to uh, see how I get that going. Maybe I can get it recorded onto an emulator. That would be fun. Right, let me just quickly sort this uh, cable out so that we can go to something else. But since uh, the plan has not gone to plan, we now have... Request time. What should we play, guys? Here is the question. What should we play? Also, the death count should be about four or five by now because of uh, the amount of stuff and the amount of times I died in that game. Let's put it at four. I'm pretty sure the death count is four for tonight. Uh, Heyon says Sorcery Plus then. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to go with Sorcery Plus. Uh, how is everyone else with that? James Furman says, a little trick I found with my specy was to turn the volume of the tape player to 80%. I wish I could. I wish I could there, uh, James Furman. But it's built in. <laughs> this is the ZX Spectrum uh, 128 Clay Plus 2. The Plus 2A, to be exact, because it's the grey version rather than the black version. Which means it's uh, mainly using Sinclair parts rather than Amstrad. And has... Greater compatibility. So, I wish I could do that. So, uh, James Pett says, Stub of the Zombie, Tea and Cake, Wrapped on Through Time. And Wrapped on Through Time is not on my list of uh, games that we should be playing. So, let me just quickly add Wrapped on Through Time. Oh, hello, Gordon, as well. Robocop onto the list. So, I have quite a list of stuff here. Um, right, Wrapped on Through Time. The black one is a plus 2A. Oh, so the grey one's just a plus 2. Okay. I thought the black one was a plus 2B. But hey, no worries. Uh, rep ton through time. And Robocop. Head over. A game I never finished, Head Over Heels. Love playing it. Never managed to finish it. So, we have a big list of potential games now. <coughs> Stubbs the Zombie is at number one on my list. I've got so much, uh, so bad handwriting, but that, no, that's all my notes from various uh, episodes of Jenny's, uh, <laughs> of Jenny's stuff. <laughs> and there is the list of games. So we've got a fair few. Uh, Stubbs the Zombie is now at the top. Lost Caves and Ghostbusters. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> James Pett says, Your hand ring acting is almost as bad as mine. Yeah, you got to remember, though, James, uh, we're essentially uh, in the same sort of uh, environment, aren't we? Had to have a lot of education, therefore had to write a lot, and therefore broke our uh, ability to write because it causes some damage. And then... Uh, having to write a lot for work. <laughs> so that's just how it is. And the more you write, the worse your handwriting gets because your hands break. That's my education theory of handwriting, which is why doctors have such terrible handwriting. <laughs> that is my excuse, and I am sticking to it. Okay, so I've got a load of games now, but yeah, the first request was Sorcery Plus, so we are going to get through it eventually. Hey on Pud says that Penn Teller Desert Bus game. I am not playing the Desert Bus game unless someone pays a charity. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> if you if you want me to play the the uh, Desert Bus, then uh, let's say Macmillan Cancer Care has to get a big payout. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon says my handwriting looks like one tasted Stevie one. Oh my goodness! Hey, that thing's the 
the things you guys come out. Uh, God, Monkey, I've now got my new ARM SID chip for the C64 so I can place my existing and working SID into your... Oh, you... No. You don't have to do that. You, you don't have to be that... Do that, dude. Although I may have to take you up on that because I do need it to work for the museum project. Otherwise, we'll have a lot of people going, well, it should work. They would say it in that uh, manner as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to unplug the ZX Spectrum and then try and find the uh, plug for the DDI. <sighs> Where has it gone? It was here, yes. It was here the other day. Oh, my God. James Pet says, My handwriting looks like a drunk spider wandered into some spilt ink. If you play that desert game, I'll sign the pledge and drink nothing but water for the rest of my days. <laughs> Patrick, thank you so much. I've just got to try and find where I've put the uh, DJI One cable, and then we can get on. Is this it? No, that's a Texas Instruments. Where's me kit? Where's me... There. This is... Oh my goodness, is this it? That's not it either. Where is my DDI one? This is for... Guys, I am so sorry for the obvious noise you just got there when I stuck my head under there. The DDI one is plugged in. The reason I can't find the the uh, plug is that it's already plugged in. Guys, I am apologising profusely for the fact that nothing ever seems to go right with this show. I do try. I do try my best. But apparently my best is atrocious. So, right, so the uh, thing is plugged in. There's the Amstrad. And, oh, oh dear. Okay, nothing is on the screen of the... Of the... Okay, that's not good. Right, everything's turning off. Something's wrong. Something's seriously wrong. I'm going to switch to this. Something is off with the uh, little disc thing that I've got here. I don't know what, but something wasn't right there. It's all plugged in. As far as I can see, it's all plugged in. But something wasn't working. All right, let's see what we've got. Ah, right. I say something wasn't plugged in, but clearly if something wasn't plugged in, but seriously, it was kind of plugged in a little bit. I don't know what's gone wrong there. Right, let's try it. So that's working now. Hi, Ben Tullard. How are you doing? Right, it looks like we're working now. Okay. Right, now we can get this back up. So where's Sorcery Plus? I know I've got it. Did I put it into one of these drawers? There it is. Okay, so. Rig the computer up to the bed TV next. Oh, go for it. Uh, yeah, Patrick. Practice the hard part for... Why would I... Why am I practicing games? Why am I... I thought that was against the... Uh, against the spirit of this. Why are we practicing games? We don't practice games. We just haphazardly go at them. <laughs> Until sometimes... <laughs> Want all so seven sorcerers? I would like all seven sorcerers as well today. So this is a oh, the second button doesn't work today on this on my master system. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. Hmm. Interesting. I have to work out what's going on there because I kind of need the second button on my master system controller. For when I'm playing Master System games. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I think it's run disk, isn't it? Yes. Alexa, tell me a joke about computers. An Atari, a cloud-based AI, and a quantum computer walk into a bar. The Atari says, let's play a game. 
the cloud based AI agrees and initiates the coin toss, heads or tails, and the quantum computer storms out. The Atari says, Ah, oh, I forgot how much she hates binary choices. <laughs> Alexa, thank you. You're welcome. You can't hear the Alexa app? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was coming through, but maybe not. Right, I'm going to mute. Okay, the computer's crashed. Try that again. Right, I'm going to mute the sound a second so I can plug in the... Uh, system. So now you should be able to hear the uh, sound. Orangey for crows. <laughs> I love that, yeah. Here we go, where are we? Oh, right, let's play some sorcery. <laughs> Play some sorcery. At least we are when it finally loads. Here we go. I doubt we're going to win, but you never know. One of these days we will complete this game. And on that day we will all go, hey, we completed this game. But will it be today? We can try. I mean, we've got... It's only half ten. We've only been gone half an hour. We could get this. We could do it. We could. Listen to the CPC goodness. Yeah. It's one of the best games on the computer, this. It looks great. It plays great. It sounds great. The CPC could do some great games. It's just a shame that it wasn't given the chance all that much. Alright, so let's get through. Oh, come on, we can do this. Come on. Yeah. Yes! Ha ha! Got past it. Let's grab that. I don't think that works on this guy. No, it doesn't. Right. Get her off! Flying pig head. Wah. The type of enemies we have to deal with on this is ridiculous. Right, let's pick up the shoot. Welcome to Shooting Stars. Welcome Whoever you are, did, 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 did. welcome back, Patrick. How you doing? Doof, got him. Hey, oh, we need the bot. No, oh no, I just accidentally set off the spell bag. That's not good. It's not good at all. Got a laptop in the bedroom, has no screen, so. That's not not necessarily the best way of uh, having a, a computer, having no screen on it. Oh, my goodness. Tornado Low Level was good. Yes, it was. TLL, Tornado Low Level, wasn't it? Amazing game. <coughs> right. Going to have to uh, make a break for it and try and uh, get some power back otherwise we will not get through this game at all go across yes right sorcerer's moon got the first guy here we go right grab the sharp axe we might need that play this one very often it's very hard it is hard that's the thing that's that's kind of the problem it's incredibly difficult because it's so easy to accidentally die. But hey. We're going to get through it one of these days. 
It's kind of become the uh, mascot game for this uh, show, hasn't it? What are we going to do on the day that I finally finish it? Because we'll have to find something else to get really grumpy over. <laughs> but uh, who knows? We have a long way to go before that happens. Right, that one gives us health too. That's good to know. Grab that and... Oomph. They're gone too. Making the area safe for all mankind. And got him. Yep. Yeah. Right. Let's do this. Send some pictures of that set up to your own messenger. Can't see them right now, but I will have a look. And doomph. We've got the goblet of wine. <coughs> if I were to play word association and someone said game hammer, my instant response would be sorcery plus. Wow! <laughs> Is it that iconic for the show? Wow! If you were playing word association and someone said game hammer, my first uh, response would be wow, you've heard of game hammer? <laughs> <laughs> As gaming uh, retro gaming shows on the internet go, we're not one of the big ones. I'd be very surprised if someone in a Words Association Street game did say that. Right, Goblet of Wine. Second guy. Hey, hey, we got him. Right, here we go. Diddly dee dee, diddly dee doo. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. There's another guy up in the clouds that we need to deal with. He uh, requires a little liar, doesn't he? Gordon says, but you're my favourite. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I'm someone's favourite. I just want to make uh, people see how fun these old games are and have a good time playing them, you know? And that's That's what I'm really here for. Can we... Can we ah, get in? Yes! Fighting against the door and the controls and everything else. We've got a sack of spells and an incredible need to use that sack of spells to uh, get what we need. Grab a ball and chain. I don't think it'll work on it. No, it might work on the flying face. Yes, it works on the flying face. Right. So we've got him gone. There's the little liar. James Pet says, I remember when retro games were just games. So do I. <laughs> we're going to play some games, Mom. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, man. Time has flown past, hasn't it? it? It's weird to think. Three. We now have three of these guys. We've got three. So we're getting through it. We're getting through all of our stuff. Right. To the shooting star and we'll go this way again. I found you through one of Zypho's streams just under a year ago. He was playing one of your games and you were in chat. I was impressed so I came to your channel. I've been here ever since, says Aeon. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Which one was he? I bet it was something like Dirk Headstrong in The Martian Madness. Or perhaps, uh, oh, it might have been um, Roland Goes Rescuing 2 or something like that. Because that was fun. That that was a fun one that I put together as kind of a... Seriously, did I just... Oh, I just wasted a spell by missing one of the guys. That's so annoying. There we go, right. Uh, well, we'll have to just deal with it. Born chain, boomf. I've gone the wrong way. Yes, I have gone the wrong way. Do, 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 do. We need to get over here because we know where the fourth guy is. Yes. Grab a large bottle. We're going to need the bottle. Ah, carpe diem, fish of the day. <laughs> Oh, 
I remember Latin from school. Caecilius est in horta. Caecilius est in atrium circumspectat. No! Get. Get. Yeah, get. So that took us down. Why if you suggest penguin land on the mask? I wish I had that, but I don't. So we got three guys. But we will get more. What was it? It was Grumio and Clemens were his, uh, his housemen. I, I, I want to say they were, they were Selwus, which of course means something that will probably get me uh, a strike on YouTube. <laughs> James Pet says, I approve of penguins. Where are we? In the villa. Oh, we're in oh, we're on the other side. So we might as well get the first, the 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 guy first then. The one that's over here, right? Now, yeah, get yeah. What am I? Death count of six. What am I doing with my life? Making funny noises on the internet. and says Latin speaking Latin some of us can have the English here when in Rome do as the Romans do what was his wife I can't remember his wife's name James Pet says somebody has to make funny noises on the internet. Might as well be you. Well, in that case, <laughs> and other words as well. I can't think of any more funny words. That's terrible, isn't it? I've just got writer's brain there. <laughs> now, stop being. Urgh. This is getting frustrating. Seven deaths. The moment I start recording, all I've done is get to soaked in water. This is terrible. Oh. Uh, these are all connected properly, aren't they? It just crashed there. That's not good news. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Presented by Amsoft. Oh, Jenny just opening the, the door there made me jump. She's a booger, you know. She is. And she knows it. But she's cute and we love her. Crashing is suboptimal, says James. That is very true. James is the master of the statement. I take it you do not approve of crashing. Gordon says, wear a toga. Sacrifice people to big uh, bitty cats. When in Rome. They don't sacrifice people to cats in Rome. They just let them get mauled for their entertainment. That's a far more pure and uh, straightforward approach that they have. <laughs> we enjoy seeing people get mauled. Therefore, we will uh, see people get mauled. Not again, no! Yeah, Gah. I need a button that just increments the death count. <laughs> Ronda goes rescuing two last Christmas, says hey on. Right. Yeah, it was a fun game, that one. I enjoyed that. I actually have to finish the update I'm doing for it. There's a there's going to be a second version called Roland Rescue Redux, which will include. Uh, it will include what was I going to some in-game music to make the sound actually seem nice. <laughs> James <laughs> says I should have a system that. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Excuse me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if that works. I hate asthma. I'm not concluding that as a as a count on the death meter, by the way. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Oh, so James Fred says, and then a system that automatically presses the button every 10 seconds. <laughs> <clears throat> Penguin Land is one of Wifey's favourite moss systems. I'm going to have to have a look because uh, I don't have it. And uh, I'll see if I can pick up a copy. Here we go. Right. We're back over to this side, which is a, a reasonably uh, well-known side of the of the game. But <coughs> since we know that we can uh, get three of the sorcerers, we're going to go to the other side first. Oh. Get the... I'm going to need the bottle. Let's do this. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Pick up a penguin land for SMS. <laughs> Martin Vegas says Zillion was good on. I've heard of Zillion. Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely heard of Zillion. There we go. Got them both that time. So, we have to try and get through here. Straight away. Straight into the water. Basically, this game should be called Death by Water. We're on a death count of nine now. This is wonderful. We are doing so well. And it's been eight minutes. <laughs> We've got so many deaths in so few minutes. Yeah, I'm going to officially rename Sorcery Plus to Soggy Sorcerers. <coughs> I'm going to th uh, keep trying this. We'll see how we get on because we're, we're, we're not even at 11 yet. It was a bit like, impo oh my goodness, Impossible Mission. You know, there's a copy of that on PlayStation 2. You would not believe it, would you? Impossible Mission, the original version, is on PlayStation 2. You can play the original Commodore version. It's amazing. Serious... Oh. <laughs> Death count of 10. Oh, it's ridiculous. This... <laughs> Oh, oh, and words to that effect too. I'm I'm running out of English here. Why is my CPU at forty two percent? It can't cope with my strange, uh, my strange use of language. Hmm. Hey, on put says it seems like the going rate for Penguin Land is around twenty quid. Hmm. 20 quid for a classic game isn't too bad, I suppose. <coughs> I'll see if I can find a copy. Right, I have an idea. Why don't I try going through this door here? Because this is the door... Nope, that's not going to work either! <laughs> oh my goodness, we are having trouble. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't... I've got a cough. I was sitting in an air-conditioned uh, building for three days. That's... Kind of my issue here. James thinks we uh, were. James wonders, can we beat the record death count of 15? Probably. Probably can, yeah. Let's see how we go. Let's do this. We're going to get this guy first, otherwise uh, we're going to be here all night with just getting frustrated, getting a few of the things and then not getting the final guy. 
That's how it's gonna be. Get away from me, ghosty wasty. Let's keep going. Let's get ready now. <coughs> nice. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Lie down to get that. Oof. <coughs> And get these guys. Yes. And to here and over and in. Push up and come on. Down. Yes. Yes. And then through this door. Which gets us into here. Grab that. Right. Grab the sharp axe. <coughs> Go back through and why didn't the sharp axe kill the pig? That's not the that's not a joke. Why why didn't the sharp axe kill the pig? I thought the sharp axe has killed the pigs. There's a ball and chain that kills the pigs. I think it's ball and chain that kills the I didn't realise that. I thought it was the sharp axe. Get the sharp axe. Kill the ghost. Right, this is Go on, go on. We've got the spell book. <coughs> Come on, we can do this. We got him! Hey, hey! We got this guy. Right, we're going to take this door key and see if that will get us through the... Uh... The book, uh, the little trapdoor that's there. No! Damn it! Death count of 12. Getting so aggravating. Put the death count back on the prop part of the screen. I can't believe this! This is like. Urgh. Oh my goodness! Oh my! This wizard seems to like going for swimming. He doesn't. That's the problem. Oh, we're gonna do this. For those wondering, tonight's uh, drink of choice, the beverage of choice, is Copperberg Alcohol Free. It's very nice supposed cider, but what it actually is is just a, a rather tangy fruit juice. And here we go. No! Yeah! Oh! 13 deaths. We are going to get this done. We are going to do this. This monster needs to learn to swim. Yes, that I will agree with. <laughs> Maybe the wizard should have a look at. Uh, should have took swimming lessons or worn armbands as mental. Yes, yes, I think that would be right. I can't believe this. Oh my goodness, we've got to get. Where? On earth are we? Oh! This is the far left. Okay, so to get through here, we need that. We need the sword to get round here, because we need to get past this guy. Try and get out of here. And get away from the ghost. Grab the ball and chain, and through the door. Kill that guy with a sword. Now the question is, what does this sorcerer require? And have we already seen it? We saw a, a, a harp, but I don't think two of them need a harp. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is so bad! <coughs> Oh, 
Hey on Pud says, I have Warhead Sour Black Cherry Soda. American import from my local corner shop. Tooth rotting deliciousness. That sounds lovely. Oh, he's as bad as the old GTA characters who are allergic to water. Yes. <laughs> they could steal a thousand cars, but they couldn't swim. Or apparently buy their own vehicles. What a hero. Steps in a puddle and drowns. <laughs> <coughs> Right, we're back in the land of the areas where we know what we're doing, so let's start by uh, making this area safe and then going and doing our thing. Let's just get all the ones we know we can get. Yeah. <coughs> there we go. Right, does this one kill us? No. Here we go. Right. That door doesn't just open randomly on a bottle, does it? No. That would make getting the goblet of wine a little easier, wouldn't it? <coughs> We've got the Sorcerer's Moon. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Ambud <laughs> says it warms my black heart to see someone so excited about death. <laughs> right, here we go. Sorcerer's moon. Oof. Got him. Right, let's see. What else is down here that we can try? Let's grab that key. Let's see if we can open that door. Because that would be a much easier way of getting that... Uh, Goblet of wine. Yes! Right, we have a goblet of wine. Right, we're going back. <laughs> we have a goblet of wine. Easier than going another way. That is great news. That is so much quicker. And there we are. So two. We've got two guys now. So now we need the little layer from the other place. And then we can uh, get over to the other guy. Come on, let's do this. Make this place safe for all wizard kind. Uh, keep going, keep going. Get out the way, stabby guy, stabby Jeff, yes. <coughs> Who's that? It's Stabby Jeff, the guy who likes to stab people. Ooh, better avoid him. Well, yes, okay. Beep, 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 beep. Get up into the, yeah, into the door, you silly, silly, silly. How did I miss that? Oh my goodness. Get away! Oh my goodness. Give me that sharp axe. <coughs> Give me the thingamajig. Yes, boink. Ball and chain will make this area safe. Oof. 
Savoy1984 says, Goblet of Wine. Feels like a phrase you'd only hear in a game like this. Yes, the the thing I need to know, though, is uh, how does a Goblet of Wine unlock a door? Does it dissolve it? I just don't get it. Or is it like the door thinks you're going to a party? Like, I've brought wine. Hey, come on in. I just don't know. <coughs> It's like the kind of puzzle that could only exist in a video game. Maybe the door guard can be bribed, yeah. I've brought some plonk. Oh, yes, very nice. Come on in. Here we go. Goblet is an underused word. Yes, it is. Yes, I agree. Go this way. And... Doof. <coughs> Corton says, I nip off for nearly five minutes and the death count doubles. Yes, that's what happens on Game Hammer. Anything can happen. It's a very strong wine. <laughs> I like your thinking there. <laughs> right, take the bottle with us. Get through, yes. And there we go, got those guys. And kill them both. Ah! That one's taken the, the power down. Ooh, that's not good. Right, we need to uh, refuel. We need we need extra. Get away from us, ghosty! Go. It's like eating a whole roast chicken to regain health. Yeah, that shouldn't work. That What that should actually do is make you fall asleep. Eating a whole roast chicken should be regarded as an insomnia treatment. Get away from me, you ghost. No, flying eyeball. Oh my goodness. <coughs> There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we're safe. Oh, we're safe for the moment. But for how long? <gasps> dum dum dum. Get through, get through, get through. Grab that and can't make it that way. Get past. Get past. Martin Vegas says, I think it's when you use... But it... I'm not sure because it doesn't seem to be. We were all right. I wasn't using it. I didn't have the bottle in my hand. It just seems that some of them just randomly kill you. Right, here we go. Oh, ghost. <coughs> right. We've got 61%. We should be okay for the moment. The Streets of Rage would be a very different game if chicken worked like it should. <laughs> to be fair, if anyone was able to eat street chicken and survive, they should be allowed to just rule the streets. No! Ah! You... Mm, no! It's not fair. We were so close. We're almost there. <coughs> this game is made by sadists. They love to see us fail. This curved top water cavern is a hard puzzle. And you were doing so well. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the frustration of it. It's like... <laughs> We're almost there. <coughs> <coughs> this man was made by fans of the death of Meter. <laughs> right. Oh, we're near the we're near the death. So let's just keep going. Right. I am going to try from a different angle. I really think we might be able to get through from this end. Bloody hell! It worked. That actually worked. 
Wow. We may have just found that it's actually easier with practice to go through the door with the water at the bottom. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, just you wasted a spell. I didn't mean to do that. Go, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. Right. <coughs> right, as we go out, we've got to push up, got to push up, got to... Yes. It worked. Gang of five made it. Yes, they did, and they're all sadists. They were wanting us to fail. <laughs> they were wanting us to do the do badly. Right, how do... If I take that key, can I unlock this door? No. Can I unlock that? Yes! Alright, I've got a sack of spells, which I got via a key. To kill these guys. Hey, hey! Right, can we get through this at all? There is no way through that. Hmm. <coughs> well, at least we know. Okay. I'm back to here now. And boof, doof. Right, so we've got one. We know where another sorcerer is, we just can't get to him. Oh, we need a bottle. Otherwise we can't get through there. Here's a bottle. Ha ha! Bye bye! Nice. So, will this now be... Right, Martin, you might be right, because that's changed again, because we came in with a bottle. Okay, that's interesting. <coughs> so, we got that. Can't get in there without a fleur de -lis. But I don't think there's anything in there that we need. So, I've got to keep going. <coughs> so, we've got our first guy. We also know there's another sorcerer that we haven't yet been able to rescue. Which is worth knowing. We're going through here, gets to there, which we can't do anything about because it's kind of a dead end. So, let's get the guys that we do know about. <coughs> oh, for goodness sake! We have now beaten the record. We're on 16 deaths. We died more to this game than we did to Luigi's Mansion. Ridiculous. Let's keep going. I am determined to see whether we can get through more of this game. We're at 11 o'clock. Let's keep going. We've got another hour. Do you think I can uh, beat the game by then? I don't know. I have beaten it. I beat it once as a kid. I remember beating it once. Just once. It's a hard game. It's seriously hard. Oh, no. We don't want to go through this way, do we? No. Right, we're going to go this way. No! <laughs> 17. <sighs> going to do this. Gonna do this. It's the last thing I do, I'm gonna beat Sorcery Plus and I'm gonna do it live. The most annoying thing is <sighs> Chris the Duke says, Can we take bets on a death of meter? I can neither confirm nor deny that, and I certainly will not be keeping a book. <laughs> Ridiculous how many deaths we got. Seventeen of them. If you don't do it live, you'll do it dead. Oh my goodness. Come on, we can do this. Right. Hey, Put says it's going to take 23 deaths. 
That's a lot of death. Grab that guy, yes. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. James Pets is now auctioned. It just turned into an auction. James Pets has gone for 24. 24 by the time we finish tonight, eh? Hmm. thing we're supposed to Chris just says 20... any advances on 25 we've got 25 25 anyone for 25 anyone anyone uh, want to bet for 26 you sir at the back 26 26 26 <laughs> I need the bottle don't I whoops get off my mind I'm going to win by being near, but not quite. What if I go through this door? That doesn't open. What if I go through this door? No, it doesn't open either. Hmm, what opens that door and where does it go? The question, it must be answered. Hmm. 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 I wonder if it opens with a harp. Thirty-two. <laughs> you guys have no faith in my abilities. It's almost as if you've watched me play games before. It has a symbol above it that matches an object you can get somewhere else. Oh. Does it? Let's have a look at it and see what's going on. Oh, it does! It has the... Yes! Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I'm not getting... <laughs> yeah, coat of arms. Right, that's it. That's a very interesting point. <coughs> yeah. Right, let's see if we can do that again. We saved one sorcerer. Ridiculous. That we... we saved that sorcerer so many... It should count. It should count all the times we've saved enough. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. You can go through. Just de defeat the game via a battle of attrition. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. We can do it. We have the technology. I don't have it with me, but we have the technology. Hmm. We can keep going. Come on, we can do this. Where are Ah! Land of the other guy that we continually fail to save. Let's grab. Oh, excuse me, excuse me very much. Uh, very bubbly stuff that I've been drinking. Oh, get. Oh, for goodness sake! Right, whoever said 23, you're getting close to not winning. Gordon, you might be right with 32. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so bad. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Let's get ready, let's get ready, let's get ready to retro. Let's get ready to retro. Get ready, get steady. It won't load. That's why it's retro. Ah! Kill him! Shoot him! Shoot him with her things! Yes! Go! Right, we're gonna need a bag of spells. I don't know what for yet, but we'll probably need them. Right, we can do this. Come on. Boom! It won't load, that's why it's retro, it needs to be on a mug. Ah, I think I could probably do that. So I'll find... I've got to work on some other uh, stuff for Jen's merch. I'll probably put it on a mug. Speaking of mugs, though, we do have... Uh... 
a game hammer mug. I don't have one to hand. I should have one to hand, but I don't. But we can get one. Game Hammer's new logo, and also I believe the uh, uh, the mutant uh, ninja one as well, which I used for my review of one of the turtles things. Say your prayers, titles. Let's go through and doof, got them. Yes, making the place safe for wizard kind everywhere. Grab that little liar. I don't know what that tune is, and probably neither do you. <laughs> oh, there's a... Yeah, we could just take that coat of arms instead of trying to faff about with the other one. Hmm. Come on, let's do this. Let's get uh, through here and save our sorcerer. Yes. And grab that. And go down. Yes. <coughs> nice. Let's go. You can almost hear the theme from the Transformers movie, 1986. <laughs> Transformers, dun, 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 dun. robots in disguise, Autobots wa wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Transformers, robots in disguise, Transformers, more than meets the eye. <laughs> Transformers, voltage low to high. <laughs> I do love that version, that is cool. Give me that! Yes, there we are. Transformers, more than meets the high. Transformers, they don't eat the pies. Right, so we've got the three that we normally get. I'm going to try for that other one. <coughs> I'm going to take the little liar, just for the possibility that it might be that. It's unlikely to be that, but you never know. Also that chalice there, isn't it? It's not that. I bet it is this. No! Yeah, get. Arr, arr. Twenty. Twenty drowns. Arr. Now for a uh, zero caffeine, zero sugar, zero taste, zero point. <laughs> Coca Cola. I'm supposed to be staying off the sugar free stuff because the aspartame, I'm pretty sure, is what made me put on a huge amount of weight. It affects your system quite badly, from what I can see. Or at least it affects my system quite badly, from what I can see. Every time I stop drinking that stuff for a while, it seems to make me feel better and lose a bit of weight. So I should be staying off it. James Pet says, I like drinking water. Ah, uh, um, it depends on the water. Some areas I find tastes quite nice. 
and some areas of the country taste quite bad. Right. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I can open that door with this liar. I cannot. So, there's a issue straight away. Can I open that? No. Right, I need that then. <coughs> So what would open that door? Ooh! The fleur-de-lis. Will that open that door? That would be very interesting if it does. Doesn't open that. Doesn't open that! Interesting. So what does open this stuff? Well, that doesn't open that. Hmm... That guy. So what could we do? How do we get that guy? What could possibly get that? Oh, great! That's uh, apparently goes down. Okay, so that was hmm. Twenty-one. I don't know how to get that guy, but it's interesting that he's so close to us. Hmm. Um, I would. Uh, if we were playing pontoon, we'd win by now. <laughs> Twenty-one stick. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. What can we do? What? What could possibly open that door? We're gonna make. An attempt. I'm going to use the bone chain for that. Grab the sword and get this guy. And then I'm going to take the liar and see whether that opens the door to that sorcerer. <coughs> Excuse me again, guys. Sorry. I, I, I don't like to cough all over the live stream, but there's not much of a possibility of anything else. Hi, Mel's. How are you doing? So it's not the liar. It's not the bottle. Hmm. The shields have different coats of arms. Oh, that's very interesting. Well spotted there, James. Right, I'm going to go through here with the bottle. Hopefully that will have forced a change. Nope, it hasn't. Hmm. Worth noting. Right. Oh, for goodness sake! Straight in the water again. 22 deaths. We are definitely very, very close <laughs> to uh, starting to get you guys uh, with all of your uh, all your bids. Hmm. I'm glad to hear that, Mel's. Glad you're good. Yeah, Gordon may do well. <coughs> Right, let's see how far we can get, shall we? Let's see if we can... We can do four sorcerers. We need the other three. But we are... ruling out some of the possibilities now, aren't we? Of what, what could open the doors for them. Hmm. Is that still... Yep, yeah, that's still good. Let me grab that ball and chain, because if I go through this door, uh, run the gauntlet on these guys, and get through the other one, we can kill off that uh, flying eyeball, and then get the, the star. Come on, flying eyeball. Oh, it can't get through there. Hmm. Right, let's get these guys in the other room to make it safe to go back and forward and back and forward. Let's do this. Right, let's get the liar. <coughs> Take care, Ben. Thanks for coming along and have a great night. Let's get back over here and rescue the sorcerer. Then we'll grab the other ones that we know we can do. 
Does the waterfall hurt? Funny enough, it doesn't seem to. It's just the uh, horizontal water. Because the rules don't really apply. Hmm. We have special rules here. Special rules for special people. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to apply them whatever way we want because these are arbitrary rules for games. <laughs> James Pat says this game is weird. Yes! Yes, it is! <laughs> What goes to what can open that door? Hmm. Never even looked at that one before. Hmm. Let's go through here. Goblet of wine doesn't oh no, I thought I picked up the key. Give me a second, let's let's uh, investigate this. We grab the key. And see how we do. Nope, key won't open that door either. Hmm. Alright, there's another door there. Grab the key. That doesn't open that. Coat of arms opens this door. Where on earth are we? There's another sorcerer. Oh, and now we can't get back out. The coat of arms does not open that door. Oh, that's great. So we're essentially dead. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> so we know the coat of arms opens that door, but... <laughs> does not open the way back out. That is cruel. That is so cruel. But at least we know there's another sorcerer. <laughs> this is very strange. <laughs> <coughs> now you must not die more, says James. You think I can get the entire rest of the game done without dying? I think... Not. <laughs> oh dear. We're doomed. Nope, there. Couldn't get through. Sorry. We're on 24. <sighs> We're starting to run out now. Come on. Uh, yeah. It's a cruel game by Gits. Cruel Gits. We we shall forgive them. They knew what they were doing and they enjoyed it, but we will forgive them. For we have also kind of enjoyed it, haven't we? Yes. Gip. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Let's grab the bottle. It's a sorcerer in a bottle. He's gonna drown in a bad way. James Beth says, You won't be breaking death a meter records with tea and cake, but 24 is impressive. <laughs> I suspect Gordon will win the sweepstake. Yeah, Gordon's gonna win. I know, I, I think we all know that. <laughs> You're getting closer, yeah. Grab the... Oh, for goodness sake, why did I press it twice? I wanted to use that on the dudes. Oh. Go. Easy, easy, yes. Grab that. <coughs> Did we work out what opens this door? No, we didn't. Because we, we died before I could uh, get back, didn't we? Yeah. It is that. That is the same coat of arms. It is the same coat of arms. But, uh, died again. So I don't seem to be able to get that coat of arms. Which is a problem. Twenty-five. Oh my goodness, death count of twenty-five. This is ridiculous. Gordon says, what do we win? <laughs> Credibility. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <coughs> Here we go. Robots in disguise Transformers Autobots wage the battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons Transformers More than meets the eye Transformers Robots in disguise. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is that weird room, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and we can't get through here. Right. Hmm. Right. There should be a way to sort that out. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, we did it. I've got the Transformers chin and stuck in my head now, you guys. <coughs> right, we need to get this guy safe. Grab that just in case we need it. I think we will. Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Oh, there's only one guy in there. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's a Transformers tune more iconic and more enjoyable than the He Man theme. I have the power to lift up a flower, it takes me an hour or two. I just died again by falling in water. It's quite wet and I am very upset. Do, 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 do. Transformers is apparently better than He-Man, according to James. Hmm. I preferred He-Man. He, he was more of a... Well, he was more of a go-getting dude. Whereas uh, Optimus Prime always felt like he was holding back. Except in, in the film where he absolutely devastated all of those guys. Came into the battle, just drove over people, knocked them out of the way to their doom. Transform, shot a guy mid-air tra during Transform. Oh, he was so good. Well, Theman, he, the man, but He-Man could punch uh, a guy out of the, out of the sky. And he had the power to lift up a flower. Takes him an hour or two. I love that version. <laughs> but what about Popeye? I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Pop, pop, I live in a caravan. Pop, pop. Open the door and fall through the floor. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Pop, pop. <laughs> oh, the old, the oldies are the best. Someone one time said we should have a karaoke night, and if Jen wasn't asleep at the moment, because she's got to go to work, I would absolutely do that, because I'm in a karaoke mood. But uh, copyright strikes would come fast, thick and fast on that one. So perhaps not. <laughs> right. You're at the outer sanctum with its belt buck. There we go. We saved our first guy. Grab that key. Do, do, do. That movie made me cry. Yeah, that the Transformers film murders a load of uh, characters that uh, kids have <laughs> that kids have been uh, trained uh, and brought up to uh, identify with and respect and love. It's like <laughs> here is Optimus Prime. He has become your father figure. And now he is dead. Ha 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 ha! Buy this new toy. Like, no, that's not going to happen, is it? Uh, 
11, 25 p.m. Yeah, we got 35 minutes left. I'm sure we can finish this game at some point. I mean, I can't be that bad at it that I can never win. Surely. But we do need to know, once I beat this, and eventually I will, what is going to be the replacement go-to game? Because once it's done, we've got to have to move on, surely. We can't just keep doing this forever. Can we? No. No, we definitely can't. We would need some new things, new blood to keep us going. Oh, yes, we will. James Pet says, I could definitely be bad enough never to be able to win. If I can do it, I'm sure you can too. <laughs> Can't open that door. That door doesn't open with that. Hmm. There is a door down there, though. That is interesting. That's not that either. Uh, hmm. Now we're at the other side. What is down there and how do we open that? How do we do it? This is a question for the ages. A question that we must ponder for all time. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Grab. Yes, we has te bottle. I wonder if a simple key would open those things. Hmm. The problem with the with uh, the issue there is that we don't know. We can't just carry things in. The door will not open once we've uh, used once we've uh, put the fleur de lis down. So how do we get in and out of those rooms? And how do we unlock the things if the the bottles doesn't don't work? It's a, it's a tricky one that. Oh, for goodness sake! Every single time, this is not a this is not a simple game. It's hard, like seriously hard. And I really wish that I was able to do it because it's so frustrating. <laughs> oh, and we still we have three sorcerers that mostly we know how to find, but I also don't know how to rescue. Right, we're here now. So, let's go and just uh, do the the few that we already know. It's a frustrating game. The worst part is, once you've rescued all the sorcerers, you're still not done. <coughs> because you still have to fight the sorcerer. Sorry, the necromancer, the guy that uh, put all these guys behind bars. So... There's still that. And we still need a special item to kill him. Which is a problem as well, because I don't know what it is. It's a big, big game. Right. Grab that uh, large bottle to open that. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm trying to kill these guys with a sorcerer's moon, but... What I was actually trying to do was get through. Like, got that. Oh, for. Run out of energy! This is getting annoying! Oh, yes, it is! And other words to that effect. Come on, we can do this. Twenty-nine deaths. This is a record for this. The game is frustrating. Well, the game is Sorcery Plus. 
The effect is frustrating. Come on, we can do this. Kill them, yes. Shoot them with a bag of spells or whatever it was. We, you shoot and start. I, who, who knows? Who cares? Come on, come on. Yes, round. Yes, round. Whoa. Whoa. The effect is a mega death count. Yes. Got him. Ah. Grab ball and chain and smack the piggy, flying piggy head with a beep beep. Right, now grab this because we're going to need that. Sharp axe. And hit. Why am I picking up a shooting star? Don't need a shooting star. Oh, for goodness sake. Is there anything in here that would be good? Switch for a key. Yeah, we'll take the key. I want to keep the shooting star somewhere that's useful to have. Because the last thing I need is to leave a shooting star in here. Because we're not coming back for this. Go, oh, yes. Spell book. And out we go. Right. Over here, grab door. Rescue, dude. Grab shooting star and we're out of here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grab that. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Come on, 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 come on. Beep, 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 beep. And move straight up when we come out the door. Yes, and go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now we're getting somewhere. So there's another sorcerer, but we don't know how to get to him because we can't get through that door. We can that door, the pillar. The pillar is a blocking thing. We can't get through it. Where's the bottle? There it is. Grab the large bottle. Right. Through here. Grab that. Beep. And... Yeah, they're gone. Right. Through here and... So... So there's the first. We can now get the other three, knowing that we've already done the really hard one. And then we can get on and try and fix the rest of them. Fix? No. Try and uh, rescue the other guys. Come on, we can do this. Well, we might not be able to, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it the old college try. Oh! What, what? 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 Okay. What, what? What, what? What, what? What, what? What? Hmm. Wrong door. You can do it if you're being cured. <laughs> Oof, got him. Right. No! Oh! I can't believe... We have not drowned in that piece of water for ages. This is ridiculous. We're up to 30 now. 30 deaths. This is... This game is a... Oh... A frustration for the ages. Oh my goodness, we can do this, come on! Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Yes, we can. Bob the Builder. Can he win it? Bob the Builder. No, he can't! <laughs> Can you do it? Three more attempts. I'd like to think I can, but I'm pretty sure I can't. And that's the worst part. It's, like, it's now got the point where I'm almost... Yeah. See what I mean? It's like, the game is made by people who really knew what they were doing. And what they were doing is frustrating people... For generations to come. This is a game created by bastards. <sighs> They're awfully annoying bastards. And they knew what they were doing. It's like, <laughs> this is going to be really, really annoying. Yes, it is. It is very annoying. The worst part is I still want to play it. So frustrating. 
every time I go through the wrong time. You need a death count. That is a power of two. So I have a 32 or 64. Hmm. One more attempt. <coughs> You have more persistence at these things. Than... <sighs> I don't know whether it's persistence or just bloody-minded obstinance. I have a love of game. The thing is, this is a good game. Yes, it's hard. But I still love it. I can't help it. Let's do this. I've got the little layer. Here we go. And through here. There he is. Rescue! Yes! Rescue the little guy. Good. Grab the goblet of wine and run for your leaf. Yes. Oh, come on. We can do this. Right. <laughs> if we remember correctly, through that door there, the the why am I pointing? You can't see it. Through this one that I'm next to, that is a guy. There's a guy in there. Hmm. I don't know how to rescue him either. But at least we know he's there. So that's... Something. Let's get this guy. <coughs> Second guy. Right. Grab that. Get off me, you ghost. And grab that one, yep. 99... Grab the ball and chain, it's not going to work on the ghost, but it will help us later when we come back through. Grab that, that, this way. <coughs> right. I am going to do something that we haven't done before. We want to know what's in the door near where the uh, thingamajig is. Grab that. I want to know what's... Th where the uh, Sorcerer's Moon is. We want to know what's in that door. So, what if we take one of the coat of arms with us? We don't have to use it straight away. Grab that. Why did I grab that door? Don't forget this. We've got a coat of arms. We're going to take it with us. Down here and across. Go down! Yes. Okay. So we've got two guys so far. Got that. Got that. Wrong door. We need the bottle. <coughs> Live stream cake baking. I had, <laughs> to be honest with you, if I thought a cookery channel would work, I probably would try that. We are about to die because I'm stuck. I thought I could uh, induce it to uh, do the right thing, but I couldn't, and switch the. It was a good idea. Let's see how far we get this time. We've got 20 minutes left. Let's see if we can do this. I'd like to think we could get further. We have played so often tonight that we've just got loads of fur uh, on the, the greatest sorcerer. It just says who's there because I'm not putting my name in. <coughs> but we know... Gordon says, smug mode engaged. <laughs> Can you get to 64 deaths in 20 minutes? Undoubtedly, I could get to that many deaths in 20 minutes. 
Whether it would make for a good live stream is a different matter. Right, let's keep going and see how we can get on. We know four. We haven't actually learned how to do any more sorcerers for a while. But we know four. Hmm. Right, we're going to grab the ball of chain and try and make our way past these guys. And then when we're on the way back, we'll get them. But we're going to get the flying eyeball first. Right. Got the shooting star. And around. And get these guys. Boof. Got them. And little liar. Go up and round. Right, on that uh, coat of arms we've just seen there, the chevrons are pointing up. Uh, same as here. So uh, I'm not convinced that those two are different. Unless it's the bottom left that is different. So hopefully it won't matter which one we pick up to go through with our cunning, cunning plan. Got that guy. Oh, ball and chain. Oof. Nope, the ball and chain doesn't work on the ghost. It's the other guy. Come on. The flying eyeball. Arr, the flying eyeball. Hit him with a ball and chain. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Arr, arr, Jim, lad. Arr. I right, got the shooting star. I'm gonna go this way and grab one of the uh, thingies, one of the coats of arms, to try and continue the plan. So weird uh, symbol and chevron's pointing up. Same weird symbol and chevron's pointing up. So they are the same. These two are definitely the same coat of arms. If there's a different coat of arms for one of the other ones. That's cool and interesting. But these two are the same. Right, let's go for it. We've got a coat of arms. Hopefully it'll open that door once we get there. Come on! Yes, through. Right. Oof. Right. Hit it with that. Uh, Kill this guy. Yes. Right. Might need that. <laughs> Those guys are gone. Open this. And that opens that. Back up to 100%. Open that door with the large bottle. Now that I've opened that, does that stay unlocked? Because that would be interesting. I'm going to try and grab that to deal with this guy here. Leave the bottle behind. Grab the sack of spells. And can I open this door now that it's un essentially unlocked? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, I don't need to unlock that because it's not locked. That's not... Oh, of course. That, I need the bottle for... That wasn't... The door wasn't locked. Where do I leave the bottle? There it is. 
the way to the thingamajig was locked. That was it, right. So they're gone as well. Just good. <coughs> so a lot of this area is now essentially safe. And we can start faffing about and seeing what's around here. That guy's still around there. Right. Got the sorcerers from Stonehenge. So that's three of our known four. Let's take this and see if we can open that door. <coughs> and also, we're going to put it next to the thingamajig and see what happens. They're the same. The coats of arms that we've all got are the same, so we could have just grabbed that one. It does unlock it! That is interesting. Right, that doesn't open. That doesn't open. Taking the sack of spells, though. So there's another gun. Right, that door doesn't open. Oh, it does with the coat of arms. And now we're here. That is very interesting. Can we open it with this key? Yes, we can. But not if we're carrying the sack of spells. Oh, we can if we're carrying the sack of spells. That's interesting. What if we're carrying this book? Yes. So the spell book will open it. But it doesn't open that. And it doesn't open that. So what opens here? Oh, oh, there's a harp. There was a harp, uh, sorry, a little lyre that we've used before. Will that open it? What about this? Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. What about this chalice? Chalice doesn't open him. <coughs> All right, let's go back. Hmm. Actually, we could carry the spell book all the way back, couldn't we? That would be very interesting if we could do that, because then we don't have to worry so much. What about the goblet of wine? Can this guy be helped? Take care, Mels. Have a good night. Thanks for coming along. Now that that door's unlocked, we can just keep going in and out. Goblet of wine. Go on, go on. Goblet of wine. Nope, not goblet of wine. Goblet of wine will not open that door. Will it open this door? No, that won't open it. That's a coat of arms over there, though. Hmm. What about the little lion that we had earlier on? There it is. Grab that! Well, this! Unlock here. Oh, does every single sorcerer need a different thing? I have a feeling that they do. But we're going to find out, aren't we? Nope, that won't open either. Hmm. And that door won't open either. Right, so this is interesting, because I'm sure, pretty sure that we're going to need that coat of arms again to open this... Uh, the other door. That's not going to open that. And that won't open either. Mm. Right. That's unfortunate. Right, we're going to have to work out what uh, we can do with that guy later. Right, grab the spell book. What's in here? Oh, it's just that. Okay. Right, so I'm going to take the spell book. And we're going to go and uh, rescue that other guy, the fourth one, without having to faff about with all of the other bits. Where just... Where am I? And where could the... Jeweled crown. We haven't used a jeweled crown before. That's interesting. Right, go back, go back, go all the way back. 
can we rescue that guy with a jeweled crown? That would be amazing if we can. <coughs> Please tell me we can open this up with a jeweled crown. Go on, go on. Yes! Yes! We've got him! Jeweled crown, right. So, four sorcerers. We are getting somewhere now. We are definitely getting somewhere. Right, we need to go and get that spell book now, though. That was a hell of a find, wasn't it, guys? The spell book, that can't be opened from here. Okay, that's fine. We have a spell book. Let's go and rescue that other guy. Ho ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with isopropyl butanol. Yeah, we're going through and we're going to go to the other side. Welcome to the other side. I believe in here is... Uh... Yeah. So we've got four guys so far. We still need another five. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. 33 deaths. 33 deaths. But we got four, so we know how to get an extra sorcerer now. So, guys, I honestly think that uh, next time we might actually get a bit further. Five, so we know how to do five sorcerers now. That's amazing. So, I think we'll leave it there. It is uh, five, two, so. I think we've done really good uh, tonight, but we can do better. We can definitely do better. And we will do better next time, I think. So that's Sorcery Plus once again. We now know how to do five of the nine sorcerers. I think next time we might even be able to get six, because I have some theories about some of the other guys. All right, let's unplug that bit. And hopefully, we'll be able to get some good stuff done. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, guys. I hope I'll see you on Wednesday, where we're going to be playing the first of a new live game uh, completion, Samurai Western. This might take us up till Christmas, which will be interesting. So Samurai Western, that's coming on Wednesday. And then on Friday, we, of course, have the uh, Game Force, Gaming Force for the uh, Gaming Challenges. And we'll see how we get on with that. But uh, until then, I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Have a, a lovely night. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Yeah, James Pet says, wow, Christmas. Yeah, it's getting close, isn't it? My goodness. But take care. Have a great night. And I'll see you next time. Bye.